Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we are not specifically talking about the iPhone, the Poco X3 Pro, the Redmi K20 Pro or the Mi 11X. We are talking about MIUI system app updates, something that you usually do by going into settings and going into the system apps updater and you go ahead and update these apps over here. Now these are usual apps that you get updates from directly from Xiaomi but the ones which we're going to talk about in this particular video are the ones which are not available to everyone and I'm going to show you how to install it at the same time what are the changes that I have noticed in these particular apps. But before we get into the details, if you want to see exclusive content like this, which is really, really interesting every single day, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really helps and motivates the channel. At the same time, if you like Telegram, if you like chatting with people, well, please join our Telegram group because you have more than a thousand like-minded people over there chatting with each other for these devices and a lot more. Last but not the least, if you want to support us and if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, now, first things first, what are the apps that we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about the security application. We're going to talk about the gallery application and we have something called as the package installer, which has a new UI. So basically two to three things and we are also going to talk about the system launcher. So the MIUI 13 system launcher a few days back, we made a video about, yes, even that has got some changes. So let's go ahead and have a look. So the first thing that we'll talk about is the security application. So I've installed it. If you go to about, you will see that the version is 5.6.7, right? So that is the latest version that we have. Now, if you see over here, the complete UI is just like it was earlier. There are no UI changes or the look changes in the initial look. But if you talk about the app lock, when you use the app lock for the first time, you do have a preview that is added to this particular app lock system. So let's go ahead and click on app lock over here. As you can see over here, protect your privacy with app lock. So let's go ahead and turn it on. See, I'm going to add my passcode, add my passcode once again, click on next, click on add. I'm going to lock these applications. It allows you to use face data and hide sensitive notifications. So say YouTube is locked now, right? So let's go ahead and go to YouTube. Now you will see you have this sort of a lock with some animation going in the background. You can use fingerprint and you can use the pattern as well, right? Now, if you go to security again and you go to app log once again, you see that there is this beautiful animation going on. That is what they have updated. You can go ahead and hide sensitive notifications for select applications and you can use face unlock as well. So that is something that they have added. If you go to settings, you have all these settings over here. Unlock all apps at once, change password type, face unlock, fingerprint unlock, and you can also go ahead and disable notification. As you can see, hide notification content. So not only you can go ahead and lock an application, you can also go ahead and stop receiving notifications while it is locked. Now moving on, if we further go to security, you have something called as privacy. Now this is something I have been talking about a lot in all of my videos that uh, the privacy look or the privacy UI of China beta ROMs is not coming to the global or the Indian versions. Well now with this particular APK, it is there. You have awareness and protection two menus. Now in protection, this is basically something which was not available to the general public till now this is the first time i'm seeing it to be available we'll talk about that but if you talk about awareness you have privacy privacy policy all these things over here view all app behavior you can see the behavior of all the applications so if you see over here you have location mic contacts storage and call history right so if you click on privacy receive notifications about app behavior you can go ahead and enable it turn it on now this particular feature is highly dependent on android 12 because remember like ios on android 12 whenever your any of your apps is using a camera or mic you get this notification to the top right hand corner this basically enables that in my ui receive notifications when apps access your location record audio or use camera so it might not work on these android 11 roms so you know maybe you'll have to wait for this but we'll just go ahead and enable it now if you see over here you have app behavior 
you have de detect privacy risks this is really really neat because if there are any privacy risks it will go ahead and detect that moving on receive notifications about deleted photos that is there you have a dedicated menu now for protect clipboard so if there is anything that you have copied you can go ahead and protect your clipboard. That is something really, really neat. So the awareness menu, which is basically the privacy menu does a lot of things and that is really, really useful, right? Now, if you go to protection, you have network interception, you have do not track, you have private space, you have lock apps now, right? You have hide apps, second space, dual apps. For example, if you go to network interception, you have protect gallery and files, social media apps. Now, what this particular feature basically does over here, do not track is what we are talking about. Say if you're sending a picture or something else to, you know, some, a music file or a note to someone through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or, you know, sharing and stuff like that, it will remove all the sensitive information like location, time, date, all those things, geotag and stuff, it will remove if you enable do not track. So if you go over here, use virtual ID, reset virtual ID, you have all those options. So you have private photos and videos, you can go ahead and enable that and you have private files. So for some reason that is crashing, probably it needs an updated file manager or something. And then you have this option called lock apps, right? Now, as you can see over here, you have the option to lock applications as we saw earlier. And then you can have a look at app permissions, you can see location info and you have special permissions access as well. So all in all, they have made quite a lot of changes to the security application because of which you get a lot of privacy enhancements, you get a lot of protection features which are available now and that is something really, really neat. Now moving on, we're going to talk about the gallery and the gallery editor application. So if you actually go to gallery, you see that it is locked. Basically what happens over here, is the whole UI now looks different compared to what it was earlier. So if you go to settings and you see you have cloud storage, you have sync with the cloud, select best photo of your hidden albums, convert HEF to JPG before sending, you have secure sharing, share without location info by default and share without metadata by default. These options are present as well. So if you go to the main menu of the gallery, you will see over here you have map, video editor, collage, clip, magic. Now if you go ahead and select any particular picture and you select edit and say you go to stickers over here, you do see that you have a lot of Halloween stickers over here which are added. So that is a neat addition. And if you actually go to sky, it will say just a sec. So you need to be connected to the network to be able to use the sky feature. So if you go ahead and select a picture which has a you know sky background, you can go ahead and select the sky filter. And over here, you do have a ton of options, but you do have new filters available like Crimson, for example, and you have Eventide, Dark Moon, Starry Night, you also have Scarlet. So these new filters are added and that is something really neat because this is one of my favorite MIUI features in the gallery. It does a really, really great job of editing the sky look. If you move to filters, you have Radiance, Blues, Agave, you have new filters available in this classic and portrait mode as well. That is something really, really neat. And if you actually go ahead and take a screenshot, you now have new screenshot editing options, which look really, really clean and they work beautifully as well. Now, remember, these are all a part of the gallery and the gallery editor APK, which is available in this particular update. Now, moving on, if you talk about the MIUI 13 launcher, if you pinch over here, you will see that you have this very, very smooth and subtle animation so you can go ahead and apply wallpapers directly from here it takes you to wallpapers you have your option of widgets which is really really butter smooth this is a mi 11x running mi ui 12.5.5 enhanced on top of which i've installed this launcher apk and we are running at 120 hertz so that is really really smooth and fluid and over here you have your settings you have more you have all these options of google discover and stuff like that so you can go ahead and select this right and arrange recents in horizontal show memory status so the launcher might have not received a considerable amount of update but it has received smoothness as a feature or smoothness added for sure that is definitely working well apart from this there are not many changes in this particular update all in all we have an update for the security application that is really really important the old game turbo and the old video toolbox are working just as expected there are no changes that have been made to them so nothing new over there the video toolbox or the game turbo are absolutely the same as they were earlier let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops
keep smiling take care goodbye